Okay, I just wanted to give a quick overview on the Laser Heart Project. Um, a lot of people have asked me about this, so uh, I thought I'd better put together a quick movie. Just kind of showing you how it works. Uh, more detailed stuff will follow, but I uh, just want to give you an overview now. Uh, this is the box. Let's take the lid off and see what's under the lid. We have three sections. Um, we've got the laser and the power supply. That is a uh, 532 nanometer 450 milliwatt laser um, and the output comes up the front and hits the galvanometer mirror I hope you can see that there tiny little mirror that is attached to a galvanometer uh, the output of which is fed from an amplifier board here now these are quite easy to find on eBay this is a 20k scanner kit it gives you two axes X and Y um, this is just the X axis I think um, because you only need a single axis for access for the uh, heart. There's a power supply there, differential power to that. Um, and then over here, we've got the main board, which actually has an Arduino on it. It's not actually a standard Arduino. It's a Borduino, which is a slightly smaller form factor. Um, you can get them from adafruit.com, um, and they're a little cheaper than the Arduino. That actually comes out of there. You can snap that out and put it into a programmer so I can update the firmware. Um, LCD panel here, a couple of switches on the front to control uh, the different modes, uh, very simple interface. The first DIN connector is where the sensor connects, uh, we'll, I'll talk about that at a later time, that is actually a separate unit that plugs into that socket there. Around here we've got the MIDI output which is a standard MIDI jack, um, don't get the two mixed up, <laughs> don't plug one into the other, that will be bad. Um, really I should label those. Uh, just briefly talk about what's going on there. The Arduino or Borduino is connected to three chips, which let me see if I can move some of these wires so we can see what's going on. Uh, the first chip on the right is a, uh, it's a TLV5618 DAC chip. It's a 12-bit DAC. That actually creates the waveforms that drive the mirror. Uh, it's then fed through a standard op amp you get from Radio Shack TL082. And then the final chip, which I can't clear the wires, it's like a spaghetti junction, is a balanced line driver which creates a differential output which is fed uh, back into here, which moves the mirror and uh, makes the mirror oscillate very quickly. There is a blanking signal here <coughs> that turns the laser on and off very quickly, um, thus giving us 10 individual beams. Uh, one of the most difficult pieces to perfect was this. This is the beam sensor. Uh, we have another set of op amps. The larger chip is a TL084, which is four um, op amps, and there is a 555 timer to produce a nice solid pulse from whatever signal comes out of the op, op amps. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so that is basically it. Uh, the whole thing is powered from a single power point and on-off switch there. Uh, one thing worth pointing out, I have a HEPA filter on the fan, and the fan is drawing air in, so the inside of the box is permanently under pressure, and that keeps all of the smoke particles out. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That's a brief overview. I'm going to start to break down the different sections over the next few days and uh, show you how they work.